don't know. I mean, I would have loved to work with Kurt because he's Mr. Perfect, for God's sakes. Like, I want to throw the tail at him and a baseball and a football and I want to do all those cool vignettes that they used to do. Francine, tell us more about how you were supposed to work with Kurt Henning. Oh, that okay. has been eating at me for days only but, because you get, I knew about it, but you gave such a great response on Twitter. Did I? You gave okay. a great response about it. Now okay. share with the audience, answer this question. Okay. Yeah. This, this is the show that, um, when we had, um, yeah, that's the match. When we had, um, one of our lives before somebody came in and said that they met me at an EC or at the ECW arena or something. This was the show they were referring to. I put two and two together and I figured it out. This was the one because the guy that was in charge, I can't remember who his name was. Um, but I think he might've had me and Sandman like giving finishes out or something. I don't know what we were doing in, in the back that evening. Um, but there you are. Yeah, I remember uh, Kurt was there. We were in the back and I didn't even talk to him really. They just told me, I think I said hello to him or something. That was that was about it. But they told me at the next show, it was going to be him and I together. <laughs> I look so angelic there. Um, and that's why I came out and I was scouting so to speak. Now, I don't remember if he's the only one that I scouted that evening or if I was looking at other, I mean, I don't know how many times I came out on that show because I honestly, I didn't even know there was footage of it. I don't know where this footage came from. I don't know who has the full match, but I know we were supposed to be together at the next show. And then I feel like the guy either ran out of money or somebody on Twitter told me he was crooked, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, a lot of promoters are crooked, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just know that we were supposed to go back for another show and it never happened. So that was so, it. Yeah. We and the promotion was MECW. Main event championship wrestling. Right? M E. Yep. Yeah, main event championship wrestling. That's what it was. Dave Penzer responded and said, "Yes, that was who said it was crooked." Yeah, it was Dave Penzer that responded. So I don't know. I mean, I would have loved to work with Kurt because he's Mister Perfect for God's sakes. Like, I want to throw the tail at him and a baseball and a football and <laughs> I want to do all those cool vignettes that they used to do, but I didn't get to. So it was unfortunate. John John Collins. John Collins. Yeah. I don't even remember what the guy looks like, to be honest with you. <laughs> I really don't remember anything about him. So it's on Wikipedia and it said the Sandman booked the show. You don't get any credit on here. For okay. <laughs> he might have booked it, but I think I was backstage like helping. I don't know what I was doing. I was probably helping hack because that's what I do. You know, he yeah. disappeared out of the uh, scene. So I don't, I'm, I'm not really sure who he was, to be honest. I know I met him that evening, but I do remember something about having to wait for my pay and like Hack had to go get it for me or something weird. Oh, geez, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was something really weird. I mean, I got paid, but it was like it wasn't available when I was supposed to get it. And then, of course, Hack went and got it for me. So I don't know. But uh, what could have been, man? What a fun pairing that would have been, you know? Yeah. Not that he needed me because he was Mr. Perfect, but I just feel like it would have been a notch on my belt because th there's another superstar I would have got to work with. You want the full card? I got the full card. If you want to give it to me. New Jack defeats DeVito. Fun. Chris Chetty and Danny Doring defeat Christian York and Joey Matthews. It's an ECW show. <laughs> Buff Bagwell defeats Jack Victory with Steve Carino. Oh, okay. Chris Hamrick and Julio De Niro defeat Hell on Earth, Prince Justice, and Rob Williams. Oh, gosh. Okay. Kurt, Kurt Hennig defeats Chris Harris. 
Public enemy, pu excuse me, public enemy defeats the FBI. Simon Diamond defeats the Blue Meanie. Crowbar defeats uh, uh, Billy, Billy Ryle and Roadkill. Uh, Mike Rotunda and Rock and Rebel defeat the Gladiators, Gary Wolf and Johnny Hotbody. And in your main event, the Stairway to Heaven match, Sabu defeats the Sandman. Oh. What a yeah. show. <laughs> I like that Hack uh, booked himself to lose. <laughs> hey, that's re really big of him. Um, it's an ECW show. Hell yeah. A couple sprinkles of different people, but it's it's all ECW, you know? I don't know how often they ran before, um, but I'm assuming Hack called me and said, come. So I did. I don't know. But man, I uh, would have loved to work with Mr. Perfect. This is show one of one. <laughs> oh, was it the first? <laughs> well, then I didn't miss anything. <laughs> great. Yeah, one of one. I like that. Okay. That's great. <laughs> 